we're making an absolutely delicious my children call it a white plavik with misik it's like rice with meat in this case with beef you can use any of your favorites but beef will be the right option we need already pre-cooked very well cooked beef chunks and then we'll need some rice uh, I prefer using ghee you can go with regular butter or maybe olive oil but we never tried with olive oil I don't know ghee or butter will be the best choice and then we'll need onion and since my amazing children don't like pieces or chunks of onion uh, I grind it in my blender and then salt of course one clove of garlic onion one full big large onion um, optionally we can use some carrots you don't have to but it gives a really good taste and I forgot my uh, spices only cumin and black pepper that's it this is how it looks like I cooked it until it started to falling apart you just simply grab your two fingers and try to pull it apart because the only slowing process of this entire dish is to pull apart the beef but uh, the end result is so well worth it so this is probably a pound or a little bit more uh, beef chunks and try using uh, this is pre-cut this was pre-cut when i got it so try to use bigger chunks because with these teeny weeny ones you'll end up with small pieces but you need like um, threads of meat that's uh, what makes the dish look very you know, absolutely fabulous and I forgot to mention this is a festive dish my mom would make it on our birthdays on new years and only on special occasions you'll see why okay so let me first of all pull apart all the pieces and uh, I added only salt bay leaves and black peppercorns and that's it everything to your preference to your taste I'll be honest, I never do this part myself because this is children's, any normal child likes pulling apart the meat. <laughs> I mean, it's an easy process. My daughter makes, does it for me all the time. So if you have a child, ask your child to help you with this part so you don't feel how time-taking the dish is. This is the single time-taking part. Okay, it's ready. It should look something like this. And if the beef chunks are large enough, they'll look like long threads and it will just look so much cooler. And I'm leaving the um, broth. One quick note. If your broth is very greasy, you will reduce the amount of ghee. I'll let you know how much. And I have two cups of rice. I'm gonna start. Hello, babe. Yeah. Do you like this plavik with uh, misik? Yeah. You wanna taste the salt? Okay. He's a robot. He's not a real child. And yeah. he has a new haircut. It's delicious? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Why are you acting like a robot? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know. I'm sorry. Today he's a robot. Okay, you have a question? I know. There you go! We're working here. Okay, so this is ready. I'm gonna start sauteing the onion. Um, garlic and uh, pieces of you can shred it but I'm gonna do circle pieces so if the children doesn't like it don't like it they can remove it easily um, okay let me wash my hands I started preheating the skillet and better to get one of these circle non-stick ones because we're gonna make this upside down after it cooks and it will be looking like a cake we used to call this cake pilaf so but you don't have to if you're not trying to impress anyone just uh, get regular skillet okay let me wash my hands um i'll be back almost done two is not enough of course although for this portion i think it's enough mm -hmm. this you can eat Mm -hmm. I'm going to wash the rice very thoroughly. I will have to agree that washing the rice is another <laughs> time-taking process. I mean, you want to make sure 
the water is clean and clear and it takes pretty good time this is jasmine rice i for this specific pilaf i prefer using jasmine although basmati is a good option too but jasmine is like the best to me see it's still not clear enough i washed like four times already this is pure clean you can even see the rice so translucent anyways i'm gonna soak it while uh, i'm sauteing the ingredients the rest of the ingredients this can soak and it's even better all right let's get to it okay. i'll let this melt a second and then add onions and i'll put carrots here You can use more garlic if you prefer but i like the, for this one i like mild taste of garlic you don't want to overpower your pilaf with garlic taste unless you want to power overpower <laughs> all right i'm gonna squeeze it and don't be scared of the amount of this butter this specific pilaf I mean, it adores uh, butter. It, it absorbs it, it adores it, it loves it. Unless your bouillon is very greasy. Uh, here I have about 100 grams of ghee. You'll use about 50 grams or even less than that. I'm squeezing the garlic. Adding about half a teaspoonful of ground cumin and same amount for black pepper. I'll saute this a few more minutes, like a minute or so, uh, because we need to saute the meat along with this mixture. But I want to have slightly that fried onion texture, I mean aroma. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to add the beef. Fry about five minutes on low, on low speed. Heat. Look how well the meat absorbed all that butter. And I got fat free meat because we, we like it that way. Mm -hmm. We like it that way and then we add extra fat. I mean ghee is like the most delicious kind of fat to me. Homemade always. Look how you see those tiny pieces of almost browned beef. You don't want to brown it completely, but you still want to have some of those um, brown chunks or brown fried chunks that will give an extra flavor to the pita. All right, this is ready and it's time to add the rice, uh, the broth or the stock or bouillon, I don't know how you call it. And I already strained it. I'm highly recommending to strain it, especially if you'll be adding peppercorns, bay leaves, and then also there will be some chunks of probably pieces of other, other beef, <laughs> not fried, not uh, spiced. So it's better to strain it. But first you need to strain the rice. And go from there. Now, at this point, you kind of flatten this lower level, just like so. We won't be mixing anymore. We want these two layers to be separate. And then slowly and carefully adding the rice over it. Just gently even it up and start adding the bouillon. To two cups of uh, rice, I normally add about three cups of water or stock or whatever you usually add to your rice. But I never, to be honest, I don't measure it. 
never ever I just pour as much as it needs to cover the rice fully and completely and teeny weeny bit more and add it carefully just this much and this is the time to test the salt I already salted my beef when I was cooking it but I think I may need to add a little bit more just like it's not bad teeny weeny bit more mm -hmm. and I'm not mixing it not touching it I'll do like this carefully slowly I'll bring this to a boil and then lower the heat and cook it covered when I find the cover about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, let's first bring it to boil. It started boiling. I'm gonna cover my lid with a towel, kitchen towel, so that it absorbs any extra steam. So the pilaf comes out nice and grainy. Mm -hmm. The heat on the lowest, 10 to 12, 15, 16 minutes. It may not look very appetizing, but I promise you, as soon as you try it, it's your favorite pilaf. This is cooked, ready, and I let it set about 20-25 minutes and it's very important if you want your cake pilaf to uh, come out perfectly. I, I hope it's gonna come out perfectly, we'll see, but it needs to set and kind of come together, you know what I mean. And the uh, moment of truth, I'm gonna turn it upside down, you can grab your cake plate or I don't know if this will fit properly, yeah, this is perfect. So let's see what happens. The moment of truth. It's almost perfect, almost. Only a few pieces are left, which is fixable. You will find their puzzle places and arrange this nicely oh this came out perfect could have been worst and i love serving this i love with fresh or marinated tomatoes or pickled tomatoes it's up to you i also want to give it some nice look nice design these are super sweet cherry tomatoes not even cherry almost half cherry half regularly sized tomatoes I will probably put them by the sides and look how gorgeous it looks and perfect looks beautiful I could have chopped some greens and probably sprinkled over the tomatoes for green but um, we want to try this faster as possible mm -hmm. look it looks just like a cake beautiful so we called our favorite robot and told him to try it and say it's very delicious. Okay, you want it mystic, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you say? I don't have emotions. He doesn't have emotions because he's a robot, I'm sorry. But is it delicious, Mr. Yeah. Robot? Yes? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna try. Robot's mom doesn't have to be a robot. Mm, this is so delicious, I have emotions. Mm. especially with tomato if you have marinated tomatoes this dish is meant to go with those tomatoes mm. I'll put down exact precise recipe in the description you try it and you let me know how you liked it
thank you so much for watching you can subscribe share i'll be very happy and thankful i'll see you soon and i'm gonna finish this <laughs>